All this week, we are sharing the top five charities in Hampton Roads, ranked by our friends at Coastal Virginia Magazine. In the number three spot for 2018, the nonprofit Fear to Freedom. The group fills a need many of us never even knew existed. Here's their story. This assembly line of adorable bears and who they're aimed at helping, all bringing healing to Haley Johan. Is so empowering and healing in a way that you know, I can't describe. You see, Jahan's a rape survivor, drugged at a party years ago. I had to find some kind of outlet that, you know, gave me some of my power back and some of my voice back. So that's really where Fear to Freedom became crucial for me as a survivor. Part of Fear to Freedom's mission, making these care packages for rape and sexual assault survivors who are undergoing exams to recover evidence. Their clothes, their shoes, it could be hair ribbon, anything that they have is kept as evidence in case they want to pursue the justice system. People were having to leave the hospital wearing a paper scrub or a hospital gown. Um, and you've just been through something that's so traumatic and devastating, and then you have to leave the hospital in that. Trisha Russell says that's why they pack thousands of unmarked bags with underwear, shirts, brushes, bears. It is a three to four hour exam. And so having something that they can hold on to that's solid, that's comforting, helps get them through that. And even crayons for the tiniest victims. Packing the children's bags is um, the most heart wrenching. Since they started in 2011, the Newport News based organization has donated 20,000 bags to nearly 40 hospitals across nine states, each with an anonymous handwritten letter from the person who packed it. Hey, I know that life might be really bad right now, but remember, people are there for you. And it's simply signed a friend. Getting a note like this one, Jahan says, would have helped her healing process begin a bit sooner. To have a stranger do that to me and then to have a stranger write a note and say, I care and I hope this helps you, it just kind of restores some of your faith in humanity that, okay, there's bad people out there, but there's also good people out there. Now, Fear of Freedom operates out of the kindness of donations and volunteers, so if you would like to help, head to WTKR.com. You can also learn more about their story in this month's issue of Coastal Virginia Magazine.